there are special angles in calculus that you need to be very comfortable with. Now, I'm giving it to you in both radians and degrees, but in calculus, we refer to things in radians. So when I say pi over 2, you can think 90 degrees, but you need to pop back to, to pi over 2. Um, pi is 180 degrees, and 3 pi over 2 is 270. Now, you also need to be able to graph using um, the radian measures. Um, and of course, sine goes from 0 to 2 pi, with zeros at 0, pi, and 2 pi maxes of 1 and min of negative 1, while cosine starts off at 1 as a 0 at uh, pi over 2, a minimum of negative 1 at pi, another 0 at 3 halves pi, and a maximum again at 2 pi. So you need to know those key angles um, for doing um, problems like this. Suppose I wanted to find out what this is and I don't have a calculator. Well, this is going to be 8 times the sine of pi over 2 is 1. Okay, the tangent of pi is 0. 5. Now the secant of pi is negative 1 minus the cosecant of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1 and this whole thing is squared. So this becomes 8 divided by negative 4 squared, or just 4. Now, there are certain triangles you need to know. You need to know the 30, 60, 90 degree right triangle, but in calculus we're going to refer to that as pi over 6, pi over 3, and pi over 2. Okay, actually we're going to refer to it as a 30, 60, 90 triangle, but those are the angles. And the ratio of the sides is 1 to square root of 3 to 2. You also need to know the 45, 45, 90 degree angle, triangle, pi over 4, pi over 4, pi over 2. And this has a ratio of 1, 1, and square root of 2. And you do need to know the sines, cosines, and tangents of these angles. So suppose I want you to add something like mm, 4, sine of 120 minus 8 cosine 570. Well, first of all, I know these are in degrees, um, and we're going to work with them in degrees. The first thing you need to do is translate this 570. Okay, If I subtract 360, because I need to see what its angle really is, this is 210. All right, now, Let's come back. This is 4 sine of 120 minus 8 cosine of 210. Now these are not the same angle, but the cosines will be the same. So 120 degrees, um, that's quadrant 2, and the reference angle is 60 degrees. While 210 is quadrant 3, and its reference angle is 30 degrees. So this becomes 4 times. Now the sine of 60 is square root of 3 over 2 minus 8 times the cosine of 30, but it's quadrant 3, so it's going to be negative square root of 3 over 2, or I get 6 square root of 3. Oh, good. Now we're back to um, radians. If I wanted to do this comp computation right here, um, cosine of pi is negative 1. Now tangent of 7 pi over 4 is, let's see, this would be the reference angle of 45 in quadrant 3, so this would be negative 1. So this becomes negative 2 plus 5 squared, 3 squared, or 9.